Most people in life look for how do I make a life worth living and a retirement worth having. When we do these things, we're usually performing some form of consumer services, customer service, whether it be internal and that we're serving within our team or organization or company, or external and that we're serving clients or vendors that are outside of our business, well, entity. You see, in the real world of business where people are making a salary, they know precisely what their job description is and they generally are taught or learn over the course of time what the industry standards are, what the benchmarks of every business transaction should be. A benchmark, of course, is that best of the best practice for you and for me to have a good quality consumer experience. When people do not have a marvelous consumer experience because your employees are young, naive, and immature about publicity for a company where they think that they should just represent the idea of me versus representing the ideas of a company, they literally ruin an organization. Many companies end up in lawsuits because of hiring employees that are in their 20s and then they fail to train them on a regular basis with regard to company policies and code of ethics. Companies cannot police people is not true, but here's the deal. If you and every other company is participating in the harassment of an individual, you can best bet that you're going to end up in major lawsuit that are provable that your employees did not follow the policies of no harassment in your company, that the employees did not follow the employment requirements of no unequal opportunity, and openly you cannot promise to keep them out of jail for their, well, hazing, abatement, or literally actions they might have taken that harmed a person's physicality, emotionality, or spirituality. Even among churches, there are best practices. Yet pastors or lay pastors or volunteers can ruin an experience for a new guest in a house of the Lord. You see, in the house of God, there are many rooms, which means he likes diversity and encourages that across the world. At the same time, he has an expectation that the human being in front of him will actually honor and fear him or fear and honor him and if he doesn't get feared and if he doesn't get honored then he doesn't grow and if his practice of Christianity or Methodism or Catholicism or Lutheranism or whatever ism you might be is not being really regarded as his in life we have moments of time to speak the truth about the world and the truth about the world at this present day is that we are always facing a COVID of the day this year it's a particular COVID, next year it could be a different version, and we've always had the annual fall flu to deal with. In life we have moments of time to speak the truth about what is and isn't real for people. The problem is what is real for someone might not be real for someone else. There is a variation, there is a variance in these careers of how to handle people in a culturally diverse, appropriate way, so that we don't get clickism and that we don't get networks that go astray. In life we have moments of time to speak what is real. What is real is God's love, what is real is God's peace, and what is real is what we all have to do to not only keep the peace, but to keep the American society moving forward, if you please.